We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind, so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilt and cottons, so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. A very good evening to you. What a lovely one day special we've had. Now I've got one hour with this fantastic lady, Susan, and one hour only, and we've got the Thai Veg quilting uh, projects. Uh, it's thigh, th 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 no, it's Thai Veg. Thai Veg. I've, I've been corrected and I've got it right. It's Thai. <laughs> well done. Thigh thigh veg. Veg. Yeah. Yes, you explain what it means. It's Manx Gaelic for little house and after the Second World War most houses in the country had the outside. We're built with one up, one down yeah. and a facility down the That's garden. That's right, yeah. And in Manx Gaelic the facility down the garden was known as the little house. Yeah. Now my husband is a Manx man <laughs> and as he built my sewing studio I thought well this is a nice way of saying thank you. A nod. Yeah. yeah. A little nod to him. Oh brilliant. Yeah. Thigh veg. So now we know because and I do apologise for pronouncing it completely wrong. That's quite all right. Uh, now you've brought some beautiful beautiful projects Susan and thank this you. is your company. Yeah. Um, so do you want to take me through what each one is? So these are the three cushions here. Yes. Um, talk, talk me through each of these then if you don't mind. That one's the pink one. Um, you've got it behind you. I have. You. I've got every one of these made up. Now yeah. we'll have enough won't we to make the entire the front and back. Cushion. The only thing that needs to be added is some wadding for the front. Yeah. If you want the front quilted. You don't have to have the front quilted. Yeah. Uh, and a cushion pad. An 18 inch cushion pad. 18 inch cushion pad. And, and then so maybe the buttons if you want to have it. You don't yeah. have to. It's not no. obligatory. No. You could envelope the back. Envelope it would back. Be yeah. Easy. yeah. But everything in there. The binding. Yeah. The pattern. I love. I've got to say. I've got to compliment you on your beautiful beautiful patterns. Thank you. you give it um, such clear instructions but lovely color photos as well so I was having a look at them step by step thank you you really guide us by the hands so that we can you know every part of the cushion making yeah. is explained yeah. and color photos so yeah. you can't go wrong Not it's fantastic really. you can't go wrong Absolutely. So this is our beautiful, uh, the pink colourway. Yeah. Um, beautiful material. Do you have picked the material in yourself when you put these together then, Susan? Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Gorgeous. Because your background is quilting and material, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I used to sell material years ago. Ah. But uh, I'm still very fond of just stroking and touching. And, yeah. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> As all quilters are, we do much more stroking and touching than we do <laughs> making up. So this is the pink version. I'm yeah. going to grab the other two cushions here because it's always lovely to see them actually as they are. This is the beautiful blue yeah. version. Very striking. Isn't it's it the... rich? Yeah. The colour is gorgeous really cobalt rich. blue, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I love that sort of like a sandy gold, isn't yeah. it? So pretty. And there's yeah. little flecks of the feathers there. Yeah. 
bring out those beautiful ruby s colors yeah so so pretty that is gorgeous and then the back as well absolutely gorgeous there yeah fantastic so that's our blue version and yep. again full color instructions and then a softer sort of shade our lovely lilacs really calm yes. lilac and green the mauve yes. how pretty is this yeah that is lovely yeah, it's got a plain border that one just for a change um but i like mauves I love that. I love this little very gentle pinstripe there yeah. in that yeah. in that background. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. uh, so again, full colour instructions, and as Susan explains, it's all on there actually. The extras that you need in terms of the, the wadding or um, you know your actual uh, cushion itself. Uh, what, did you, what size did you say? An eight, eighteen, 18 inch. inch. Yeah, yeah, eighteen, 18 inch, inch cushion, cushion, so. cushion pad. But you have got all the material there to physically do the cushion cover itself. £26.49, £394.876. And I know that's going to be one of Susan's demonstrations, but yep. we'll move on with all the fantastic projects you brought okay. for us. Table mat set now. Yep. Gorgeous. So tell me about this one. So we've got the runner itself. Yep. Nice runner, good size Beautiful. for a medium table. Love that. Uh, and there was enough left over from the fabrics that I'd put together to make a couple of serving mats. Lovely. Um, not quite enough backing to do the serving mat, so a bit of calico or okay. something out, the, out the, the stash would do it. Yeah. Uh, nice and easy. So easy that a lady that I know who had never quilted before picked up the pattern, took it away and got a result. Wow. Yeah, so I think that's pretty good. That is fantastic. <laughs> so will it make one large sort of long table mat or two? One table mat and two small ones. There's the second one Oh, it's over by here. you. I see. Because I, I wanted to do something yeah. uh, with a demonstration with it. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. But the second fine. one is there. Beautiful materials. Loving your choice materials there. Two colour options there. So that is our gorgeous blues. And then the yellow. Oh, the yellow that just sings to my soul, the yellow. I just yeah. think it's so bright. I it's love cheery. Yellow. Lovely and cheery. Isn't, isn't it? it? It's what yeah. we need, Susan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my word. Just how gorgeous is that? I mean, that on your table would just put a smile on your face. I love With that. some daffodils. Yeah. In gorgeous. the spring, it'll be fabulous. This is the colour of my kitchen. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah well, just... Actually, it's my daughter's kitchen colour as well. Really? So I think that one will wind up in rugby. I think that'll be it. Um, I'll, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll be going over to rugby when I'm allowed. <laughs> pinching it from that kitchen table. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, gorgeous. And then we've also got, obviously, the table mat as yeah, well. So you've got yeah. all the material in there. So yeah. any extras we need? What does it say on the front? Bit of wadding, calico, you know, if you want to make for your backgrounds yeah. there um, but you have got everything else in there to create the French braid so that's the, the yeah. style yeah that's the style French beautiful. braid beautiful all that gorgeous material there for you absolutely stunning absolutely love that yellow £29.75 541318 okay now these two uh, these are by you, yeah. So our first colourway is our Carpenter Star Throw. Again, is this the style? It's, you call the, it the, it's the pattern. Carpenter yeah. Star is the pattern. Right. And it's something I wanted to do for years and years and always thought it would be too difficult. But right. in actual fact, when I did it, it was surprisingly easy. Gosh. It made up in a matter of hours. Not, not no. days, hours. Really? Yeah. yeah. And this is the tickled pink option. So all we need for this is, if to complete, is wadding and yeah. backing. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously your thread or whatever your yeah. sewing machine. But, uh, yeah, your top, top yeah. stitching thread. Top yeah. thread, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. But everything else is in there. All yeah. those beautiful fabrics there that you can see to create that uh, Carpenter Star. Yeah. And uh, that lovely, it's like, it's like a, a cream. It's a beautiful material, yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, it's a good cream to go with those. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. So even for a beginner, this is achievable and a great yeah. price point. The finished size, I'm just looking here. About uh, a metre, 40 inches. Thank you. Thank you. I could have been a while there. On the top right. <laughs> 40 inch square. Yeah. There we go, Fiona. Uh, two flexi wipe ends of £23 or a one-off instalment. So that's the tickle pink. But we've also got another option right next to Susan there as well. Yeah. Um, the barn? The barn dance. Barn dance. Yeah. That's the range Ooh. of fabrics. It's called yes, Barn it's Dance. It's called Barn Dance. And I rather like a, a more scrappy look, personally. Yeah. But it's, it's all about taste. Fantastic. Lovely sort of more sort of muted autumnal yeah. colours for that one, isn't it? Yeah, what my mother would call offbeat. Offbeat, offbeat colours. <laughs> <laughs> Again, maybe more of a masculine frame. I'm not saying it has to um, be, but just, just the colours, yeah. maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If it was for somebody, you know. Browns could... would be lovely for Ooh. a man. Yeah. Browns. Lovely. Just, yeah. just thinking if it was you'd throw on the chair or yeah. whether it's part of a larger project it or the back be. of the chair seat. Yeah. Yeah. Anything. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Sizable piece. 45 99 157 886. Two colourways there. Um, beautiful. The tickle pink or the gorgeous um, barn 
dance. I do like that. Bar dance. Yeah, I love that fabric. It's absolutely exquisite. 157886. Now, the beautiful Jessie bags. So, is this the style of bag? The Jessie bag. Now, have you invented that or is that a style? No, no. I just didn't know what to call it. Okay. So the first name that came to mind was Jessie. Jessie. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> My daughter's called Jess. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Little nod to our Jessie, your daughter. Yep. Beautiful bag. And a nice size, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. And what I mean by that is not too big so that you're, you're just like, oh, carrying a great yeah. big sack around with yeah. you. Uh, and not too diddy because we no. want to be able to fit maybe in a tablet and the well, phone and the keys. Well, I say you want your, you want your or whatever. purse, your phone, your yeah. keys, you know. Yeah, exactly. The essentials. So we got this in two colourways as well, and uh, some lovely, some, some lovely quilt stop stitch, top stitch in there. It's yeah. beautiful. The, the quilt, the actual quilting is done on double batting, oh. and that's what gives it its firmness. Oh, okay. And I wasn't sure whether it would work, but it does. Double layer of wadding, and it comes up nice and firm. Ah, uh -huh. and it gives it that sort of stability. Yeah. So rather than yeah. adding another Bit of body, yeah. yeah, gives it the body. Yeah, yeah. lovely. And actually, a lady I was talking to in, in the week suggested spraying it with scotch guard oh. and that of course would keep it clean for yeah. much 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 longer oh, that's a great idea. and i thought that was a good idea never yeah. thought of that <laughs> brilliant so we've got that in the blue and we've got that in the red as well the navy i love navy as, a, yeah. as just as my favorite color that is very lovely and i love this uh, lovely ditzy dotty yeah. fabric for the inside yeah. isn't that beautiful yeah let me just show you that nice bright white contrast there yeah very well we pretty. like light interiors yeah. don't we you yeah see absolutely things. Sixteen ninety nine two five zero nine one nine, and again, fantastic step by step color instructions. And I do like a photo, and I love the fact that you haven't scrimped there, Susan. No. I mean, every step of the way, you could have, you know, some steps you, you might have merged together and thought, no. I'll just save a bit of paper and coloring. Nope. No, I'm talking no. step by step so that you yeah. cannot get lost no. and can complete this. Absolutely fantastic. Would that be okay for a beginner, would you say, Susan? Would, would it be achievable? Um, no, it wouldn't be difficult. Yeah. Not, not for a beginner, yeah. because there's no matching of anything. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, literally anybody could pick that up and do it. Great. I don't do things that are complicated. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> That's fantastic. You're a woman after my own heart. Yeah. Uh, 250919. Now, we're we'll coming to this beautiful uh, quilt behind me in a moment, but I've got some fat quarters. Now, contents will vary, but we're going to get ten, 10 of these beautiful fat quarters. Yeah. And when we say contents will vary, we're going to stay with the bright theme. Is that right, Susan? Mm. Yeah, there's two themes. One's a bit more traditional and one's a bit brighter. Yeah. But there's 10 of them and they're mixed. Fantastic. So, as you can see, lots of bright, beautiful bold colors there uh, lots of cheery colors there so you will we'll get 10 of the fat quarters that's a great price point yeah. 20 29 pounds 95 you've got to save under 12 pounds 50 there and then we've got uh, your classics yeah. some lovely uh, maroons and burgundies and your greens and your beiges there yeah. Isn't that pretty yeah love these very distinguished the classics aren't they? oh yes yeah very nice, I like those a lot. So again, contents may vary in terms of, you know, different patterns and what yeah. have you, but we're going to, oh, that's, that's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't Beautiful. that interesting? Yeah. <laughs> Looks a bit like crochet work. Well, it is crochet work, isn't it, that's, yeah. that's been photographed. It's, it's, it's beautiful, isn't yeah. it? Really quite taken with that. Yes, yeah, stunning. <laughs> I've never seen material like that. No. <laughs> I hope you get that. Uh, £29.95, 335770. And we're coming to the end of the counter. Now, this is a sizable quilt. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got it here on the instructions, so it's 56 inches by 68 inches, yep. and it's an amazing price point. Oh, it says 55 by 37, which is right, Susan, because I've got 56 by 68 on your instructions. I think 55 by 68 is probably closer to it. Yeah. I don't know where that 37's come from, looking at this size. It's definitely not. <laughs> could, could be me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just an error. 55 by 68 we'll yeah. correct that now so we are getting we're getting this framing and the binding yes yeah. yeah again all you've got to provide is some wadding and some backing wadding and the backing yeah all your your top uh, fabric is there and available that is a beautiful beautiful yeah. quilt. very and striking again, simple yeah jewel box is that a very traditional style That's again the style that those blocks make that yeah. block would make several different arrangements but yeah. that arrangement is known as jewel box it's beautiful and it's i love cracker. your colorways that you've chosen yeah. there thank you they re it really pops mm. you know it's very very elegant i mean it's the first thing i noticed when i when i came into the studio it's just so striking very eye-catching yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, and it's because of those materials you've chosen as well. Really beautiful. We've got that on two flexible payments of an amazing £44.75 or a one-off payment of £89.49. 315731. I'm sure you agree. A fantastic price point for all of those beautiful, beautiful materials to complete that very large quilt. I mean, it's yeah. draping, past, oh, yeah. draping past the counter here. Yeah, it, it's a good size. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I think it would sit on top of a single bed quite nicely. Oh, yeah. Or definitely. over the back of a, um, a sofa. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. Lovely. Okay. Plenty on the website as well, and then we're going to go to Susan. We've only got this hour with our lovely Susan. I think this is the fifth show that she's had with her Chanda, which is lovely to have her with us. Uh, we've got the quilting pattern pick and mix, two for twelve ninety nine. So some of the ones that you've seen today are on there. You, for instance, just the patterns themselves, the cushion, cushion, yes, cushion, can't speak, cushion covers, uh, the carpet star throw. We've got other bags on there that I've missed. Maybe you've missed the shows with Susan. Yep. Table runners there. Uh, there's the quilt by itself. Was it February you were with us last? January? January. January. See, that's ages yeah. ago. No, no, my last show was in August. Oh! So not too far uh, away. Ah, first one was in January. First one was in January. Oh, it's not too far away. Yeah. But you might have missed it. I've missed it. Yes. I haven't seen you, Susan. So you were busy. There we go. We've got the Jessie bag on there as well. Choose any two. I'm sure you agree for a fantastic price point of only twelve ninety nine. Absolutely beautiful. And I cannot... Uh, say enough positive things about Susan's instructions because they are amazing. Right, okay. okay, let's go to Susan and I believe you're going to do that lovely uh, well, lilac, that mauve yes. cushion. What I thought I'd do this time was I learnt something quite recently that has absolutely changed my life. Oh, good. In terms of stitching in the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> everybody thinks it's easy, but I've always found it incredibly difficult. And I dare say you're not alone then. To, I, I, don't, I doubt it. I yeah. doubt that I'm the only one that would yeah. find it difficult. But to get a line of stitching exactly where you need it to be, yeah. for me, has been a challenge, a big challenge. Yeah. On Facebook, one of the Facebook groups I belong to, a lady with the same machine as mine, had said, um, I've only just realised that on most of the feet on this machine, there's a little notch on the right-hand side. Okay. And I don't know whether the camera can pick that up, but there's a notch on the foot on this right-hand side yeah. that the needle will just slip down. So it means you can put your needle position all the way over to the right and stitch very close to the edge of the foot there. So if you line this part of the foot up with your line, the seam, the seam yeah, yeah, you get it bang virtually on. bang on. Oh, so revelation. I thought, I'd, I'd show that. Yeah, it was yeah. a revelation to me. <laughs> and it's absolutely revolutionised my life when it comes to stitching <laughs> in the ditch. It's little things, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it, it is a little thing, yeah. but it's made such a difference. So I thought, well, if I can show some of that today, that might be helpful to other quilters, not just me. Um, I'm going to need to turn the machine. Of course, you do whatever you yeah. need to do there. Now, I will say this, when, you, when you're sewing and talking, it doesn't always go as perfectly as you'd like it to. <laughs> so, and again, I also find that if I'm not concentrating so well, yeah. then I can go off. Well, to be honest, when you're at home, you wouldn't normally be chattering away to some random no. person to your left. No, but your thoughts wander. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm thinking, what are we having for dinner tonight? Or what's the next project going to be? And how's that, you know, pattern going to come out? So what, <laughs> what I do now, I count. Oh. I count the number of stitches and it tends to help me keep on track. Okay. Now, I'll do my best with that. All I've done, I've pulled the threads up through the, the front of the quilt so that they can be darned in later. Yeah. Okay. And then with the foot lined up against the edge of the seam, and don't go too quickly at this because if you go too quick, you're definitely going to go off. Yeah. And I'll just come to the end and probably take it out so that whoever's on the camera can probably pick up. Well, I hope he can't see what I've done, but I've actually stitched all along there. We can, yeah. And it's pretty good, even though I say it myself. We're just going to get a real close-up of that. If we so. can. 
that yeah. would be good. That's the bit. If you could just hold that thread again for me again and point yeah. to where you were talking about. Yeah, so that's real the close corner that I've stopped at. Yeah. That's where I started, and this wow. is where I've stopped. And that line of stitching is really, really close to it that. Yeah. You it's can barely see it. Exactly. And I, I didn't go off. I didn't wander. You didn't wander. Um, so I find when I'm doing this now, I count the stitches. And I can tell you that on there, there are 34 stitches on every, on every <laughs> side of the block because it keeps me focused. Yeah. Um, and I say a number of times when I was doing that one over there, thinking, mm. oh, what's the next one going to be? I need to do this, I need to do that. And then I'm wandering all over the place. Yeah. So it really is important that you concentrate on what you're doing and use whatever methodology you want to keep that concentration going. But I found counting is really helpful. Fantastic. There you are. I'll darn those in later. Three colour options there. Yeah. The and when, you, when you're top pink. stitching, uh, well, well, you're quilting, most people will probably know that you start in the middle and work outwards. Ah. And on that original one, I did a line of stitching on the... The border. Kind on of. the border. Yeah. Oh, and yes, I can see that here, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I used a piece of cardboard to get the, the line right. Uh -huh. I mean, I could have paid a lot of money for a, a ruler, but I just Got your cardboard used out. a piece, yeah, yeah. Lined it up with that outside border there, mm -hmm. and then left it under the foot and mm -hmm. just stitched. And I made a mark there at one and a quarter inches, which is where I wanted to turn the corner. So I stitched all the way up to one and a quarter and then came round. Fantastic. So, you know, you don't need to spend a lot of money on tools. You can do it yourself. Yes, just create your own template there. Yeah, bit absolutely. Of cardboard. Yeah. Absolutely. Beautiful. So that's that. That's how I did that. Fantastic. And we've got the three colourway options there. Yeah. Uh, this is the lilac option. And you can see behind me the, the beautiful blue there and mm. the beige. Um, but that's the mauve here in my hand. It makes a complete cushion cover with the envelope back and you do get all of the material there to create that beautiful cushion. If you want to put the buttons in, that is optional. You just yeah. need your 18 inch cushion there and if you're using any um, uh, padding as it were, or I should say wadding, yeah. wadding or lining fabric if you want that. Yeah. Okay, so that is the um, the mauve. I keep calling it lilac mauve. Well, um, same thing. Yeah, too. same thing. Uh, this is beautiful. I don't know. Should I have it that way? That way? Doesn't matter. You like it that way? Doesn't matter. Does Doesn't it? Matter. No, it doesn't matter. No. But my producer, my director, like it this way. Oh right. I oh like well, we, we bow to the director. We do. Oh, every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> yeah? Whichever way you like it, they're all they're all beautiful. Love this. So this is the gorgeous. They've got gorgeous blue, proving the most popular at the moment. It's, it, this, it's the contrast between the materials. It's so yeah. striking. It makes that pattern really stand yeah. out, the blue, doesn't yeah, it's it? it's rich. Yeah. I love it. I love that colour. Jewel way. rich blue. It's a really beautiful blue, sapphire blue. And uh, very romantic and pretty is our gorgeous pink. The materials in this. Yeah, it is ditzy. It's, it's, it's lovely. Yeah. And I mean that in a complimentary way. Yes. It's um, yes. very, very pretty as, again. So this is your beautiful pink. So fantastic, fantastic cushions there in beautiful, beautiful materials. Three nine four eight seven six. I'm just going to quickly mention the table mats. Are we going to those next? I think we are with Can Susan do. as a demonstration. So um, we've got the lovely table mat, the table runner, and it will make two table mats. And you've got two different colourways. So this is um, the French braid in terms of the design. Isn't that lovely? The way at the end of each of those banners, you've got another square corner that changes. Uh, beautiful materials there as well. Love, love, love that blue. And I'm going to show you the backing as well because that's equally as beautiful. Very striking table mat there. And then you'll have enough left over for two small table mats as well. So they again are in the sort of the French braid style. So I've got one, Susan's got the other because she's going to do a demonstration. But there is the blue. They're very, very beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. And I suppose, you know, if you wanted to, you could make more and intersperse that with another plain blue or white yeah. or, you know, whatever material you've got at home. So you can make that blue go a little bit further and if you want four, so that every member of the family has one. That's an <laughs> option as well. And then we've got the very pretty uh, colourway in the lovely yellow. Yeah, 
gorgeous. All the, all the instructions are falling over today. Um, look at this. This is so bright and sunny. It just oh, warms me cockles, this one. <laughs> it really does. It just cheers you up instantly. It, it is cheery. Yeah. It is very cheery. So pretty. What's not to love? <laughs> it all do with a bit of bright sunshine in our lives. Just love that. Yeah, yeah and the yellow check gingham. It's gorgeous. Really, really pretty. And then, of course, two of those beautiful little table mats as well. But again, you could be more 50 and make four if you uh, had a few more, you know, added the black or the more grey. Are you okay to go with this demonstration yep. now, Susan? Yep. Fantastic. Yep, I'm just moving things about. Um, very often, I am what I would loosely call a lazy quilter. Okay. And traditionally, bindings are put on from the front and then slip stitched on the back. Okay? Now, I'm lazy. I do mine from the back and stitch them down with a fancy stitch on the machine at the front. Okay. And I've got a particular stitch on this machine, and it does appear on a lot of other machines. It's a, a backwards blanket stitch. Oh. Now, any, any fancy stitch would do the same job. Um, but I use this blanket stitch and I pull it across from the back to the front and I've got a nice wide foot on here and I'll start further down so I can come to a corner and then come round and I come from the back to the front and again you need to do this reasonably slowly so that you don't go all over the place and I, I clipped this down yesterday so that it would stay pretty much in place overnight. I'll just do that. And I'll come into the corner and then turn it and you'll see. But if you want to do a you know a, a quick quilt or a quick project or a quick something then put your binding on from the back to the front. And there are other ways of doing this, um, but I like to use a fancy stitch just because I like a fancy stitch. I love these lovely cottons um, yeah. in terms of the material. Yeah. Susan, yeah. Oh yeah, they're all craft weight cotton. Yeah. And there you go. I don't know where the camera can pick all that up, but I've gone from there into the corner, turn the corner and round again. And once that's pressed, it won't come away, it won't move. And yeah. I think it, I did it on the cushions and you get a little bit more of the width of the binding when you come from the back to the front than you do from the front to the back. Oh, so okay. it depends upon taste and choice whether yeah. you want to. I wanted a wider binding on those cushions yeah. because I, I didn't want to do piping. So I thought if I do it from back to front, it will give an extra dimension. Okay. And I often do it on quilts because uh, I'm a lazy quilter. <laughs> <laughs> My hand sewing is not good. <laughs> well, it's all right, but um, I, I, I'd rather use the machine. But it, if we wanted to hand sew, that's an option. Oh, suppose, absolutely. Yeah. You yeah. just put the binding on from the front and turn it to the back. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Choice is yours. It's absolutely about choice. Fantastic. Okay. And we've got the two choices there on those table runners and mats. Blue or yellow, £29.75, 541318. I just want to mention the patterns because we've got 20 on the website there from Susan. So 20. lots here. Got at least, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and I've got to say, Susan's patterns are amazing. I mean, it is literally every step of the way with some fantastic um, colour pictures as well. So if I'm just looking at them here, we've got the disappearing nine patch lap quilt. Oh, that's uh, a lovely one. Tea that time is. table runner. You get two. Any pick and mix for £12.99. Patches tote bag. That's lovely. French braid table runner. Well, that's what we've just shown you. Uh, the Amelie mini bucket bag. So if you just want the patterns as well, uh, the bucket bag, uh, then you've got the Dresden. Oh, I like that. Yes, I recognise the mini Dresden circle yeah. there. Dresden wall hanging. Uh, the Indian trails throw. That's very striking. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, then we've got the Trish tote. 
Uh, the Kensington bag, very stylish. Squares on point table runner. Uh, you get two of these. The Jesse handbag we've got on the show today, but we've got those with the pattern and the material there. That is, again, with a carpet star throw, we've got that in the tickle pink. There's your yellow table mat set. There's the cushion cover we were talking about earlier. We've got the craft bag there, very useful. Oh, the way it opens out completely on the table there, like that. The jewel box quilt we've got on the show today, plus the material. But if you just want the uh, pattern, we've got the diamonds quilt. Pinwheels on point quilt, love a pinwheel. Poppy wall hanging. Look how different that is in the two different colorways. There's the Jessie again. We've seen that. Uh, oh, upside down. Some of these we've seen. Forgive me. So just a repeat. Got those. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, loads on the website. Pick and mix. Twelve ninety nine to twenty different options for two. Yeah, for two. Great, great value. So lots of choice on the show today. Um, the carpenters throw. Um, so we've got two different options. You've got the tickle pink and you've got the barn dance. So these are. I'm, I'm looking over this way because the actual completed quilts are with um, Susan. So this is the tickle pink. So really beautiful material. What is it you're looking for when you're, you're picking your materials there, Susan? Um, something that I think will appeal to a wide audience. Yeah. And. <laughs> My preference is for more traditional things, but I, I want a collection of materials that will blend together, yeah. that will be appealing to a lot of people, mm -hmm. and have a good, strong colour. Yeah. Because if you've got a quilt on a bed or a quilt on the wall or whatever, you want it to be striking. You want people to go, wow, Bold that's nice. And striking and yeah. noticeable, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's true. And that all of these, I can say, fulfill that thank you they do they're absolutely very very eye-catching so beautiful choice of materials that's your tickle pink and then we've got the barn dance uh, next to it as another option so again with susan's instructions the only thing then you need is your wadding and your backing fabric yep and then whatever threads you are using for your top stitch yes. and what have you yeah. so it is a very complete large 40 inch square quilt there Really beautiful, just lovely for over the lap, yeah. like you said, over the back of the chair. Yeah, snuggle up under a winter's, you know, yeah. cooler winter evening. And you said it's so quick to do as well. The, amazingly quick. Yeah. I surprised myself with it. Yeah, Honestly, <laughs> you shocked yourself. Because I said I wanted to do it for a long time and was put off by the half square triangles. Yes. Because um, you've always got to match the points and what have you. But I think yeah. because the, the square itself is a little bigger than you would see in a you know two and a half inch square or three inch square that's been cut down because they're a bit bigger you've got a bit more room a bit more to work with yeah. yeah and i was i was so surprised it just went together like a dream and it's a dreamy price there as well uh, for f such a fantastic really achievable project there yeah. 40 oh, yeah. 45 pounds 99 and again we've got that on two flexi buy installments there of 23 pounds i mean one for him, one for her there. And again, again, I love, love, love these instructions. They're so good, Susan. I've never seen anybody put so many photos. Thank you. Uh, you know, and be so explicit on the instructions so that you literally cannot go wrong. No. It is fantastic. Okay, uh, we have also got the Jessie bag in the blue or the pink colourway. We are going to go back to Susan because we've only got this fantastic hour with her. Uh, this is the Jessie bag named after Susan's daughter. Yep. And you were explaining to me about the double... Oh, what are you saying to Double me wadding. Double wadding. Yeah. So yeah. that kind of gives us that it rigidity. It gives it that firmness. Yeah. Um, quite often quilted bags can be very soft and sloppy. Yeah. Um, but with the double wadding, it does give it a firmness. Yes. Um, and <clears throat> Can we see? Yeah. You've got some there with your this wadding, one, you? This you, one, you can actually see the two layers of wadding and then the face yeah yeah so you think oh, what the machine will never cope with two layers of wadding but it does yeah machines cope quite nicely with it and there's nothing on the back i've just stitched straight onto uh the wadding yeah and then i mean this is a template and, and the templates will come with the pattern and you cut your templates out and cut your flat pieces out mm -hmm. Um, do all the quilting first, right? And then cut your shape. Okay. Otherwise, it will move a bit when you you you're top stitching. Oh. Because okay. I mean, quilting is notorious. You start off with a piece thirty six inches, and you wind up with thirty four and a half. <laughs> ah. You know? So cut first. So, yeah. Stitch first, and then stitch cut first afterwards. And then, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
So I'll leave that there for a moment because I wanted to demonstrate, if I could, the principle of envelope corners. Would I, can I just quickly recap, and I'll come straight to you for this fantastic yeah, yeah, yeah. demonstration. Is that yeah. right, Susan? Absolutely. Just to, very quickly want to mention your beautiful blue colourway as well. Oh, thank Anna, you. Because I know this is your next demonstration as well. And then you've got that very pretty contrast interior material there as well. So it's the blue or the lovely, uh, gorgeous uh, burgundy there as well. Uh, 1699 So sorry to stop you in your flow no. there, Susan. Um, and then we've also got the fat quarters in the brights. Contents will vary, but you are going to get 10 fat quarters for an amazing £29.95, I think it was, 99 95 uh, Great, great price point there. Uh, but be guaranteed stunning, beautiful brights in that fantastic cotton gorgeous 95 great saving there because these fat quarters i'm just going to hold one out uh, as you know very generous what do you like doing with your fat quarters susan oh all sorts all sorts of things i like to take five fat quarters that work well together yeah and turn them into something else ah yeah um i make a lot of a lot of things out of five fat quarters ah, okay um, just because it's a an, most people have got five fat quarters in their stash that will yeah. work together. It's a nice, generous sample size. Isn't yeah. It? yeah, yeah. Well, you've got 21 by 19 and a half. Yeah. So you've got a fair amount of fabric to work with. Um, you know, you could well, you can do all sorts with it, all sorts. Beautiful. And uh, the colourways in which you, you know that means that they they will go together. So if you're picking five, you're yeah. definitely find five that go beautifully. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I say most people have got stuff in their stash that they can yeah. make a, a bundle of five out yeah. of. Yeah, and this would be a um, nice compliment. Yeah, and and then do whatever you want with them. Mm -hmm. I make a lot of bags with five fat quarters. Mm -hmm. I make bags with one fat quarter sometimes. Gosh, um, just yeah. to see what it's going to look like when it's made up. Beautiful. That jewel box quilt actually in random colours and fat quarters would look fabulous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, I mean, you would need a, um, a plainish border yes. to, to bring them all together. For the colours to pop. But, but... Um, and, a, and a background that will make the colours sing out. But, yeah. you know, if you're a scrappy person, then, um, you know, anything it's, goes, it's, it's really. It's crying out for it, really. Anything yeah. goes, I like that. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Um, if you want the actual quit kit, so you, you love these... Um, gorgeous materials that are chosen for you by Susan then here is the actual kit and then again all you need is your backing and your wadding um, but that is the binding the, the, the beautiful border um, it's a, such a massive size I mean it goes way down here so 55 by 68 inches all the materials are in there I'm sure you agree for an amazing price point there two flexi buy payments of 44 pounds 75 315731 or a one-off payment, £89.49. I know, I mean, gosh, it's, it's, a, it's great value. I mean, it's, it's huge, huge. I'm just pulling this up there just so you can see the <laughs> sheer size. Uh, just, yeah, plain backing or whatever you wanted to, to back yeah. it with. It's beautiful. And then you've done a lovely bit of yeah. free motion embroidery Yeah, there. I did that freehand. Yes, yeah, yeah. lovely, Susan. Matter of rulers at home, you want to do that with if you're not confident with the free oh, motion. Or... Absolutely, yeah. anybody who can do infill quilting on that would make a fabulous job. I really like the idea of just having the pattern as well and your scraps. I really yeah. like that idea. Yeah. And like you said, not a, perhaps just a plain border. Yeah, if you need you've something to just hold it together. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, plain background and then yeah, any colours, gorgeous. Any colours at all. Uh, let me quickly mention the seven-day savers because they're going to change again at eight o'clock and we will go to Susan and her Jessie uh, demonstration. We have got quilting books, can you believe? Yeah, to tie in as well. Uh, five for an amazing £14.95. There's some stocking fillers for somebody or a gift idea. 179496. Susan Ooh. can't believe her eyes. What? That's a good five price. Books. I know, Susan. It's off, the, it's, off the, it's off the radar, isn't it? Yeah. That's a seven-day saver. So... Lots of different colour block ideas and colourways there. £14.95, £179, £4.96. Susan will be gone when we come back. She's going to buy these. Uh, <laughs> I think then I we've might. got some scissors and the Millwood scissor block. £13.98. Again, better than half price there. £16 saving, 002191. Yeah, it's, 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 I presume that's to stack our scissors in upright. Probably, yeah. yeah. Whatever scissors, crimping scissors or whatever yeah. we've got. Yeah, you've got the pink and shears there, you see, as well as the dressmaking. Yeah, uh, scissor set, lovely. Right, Susan, we're ready for the Jessie bag. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you. No, there. no, no, it was my fault. My not fault entirely. Not at yeah, all. yeah, no, no, it was. I've already prepared the back and the front. Yeah, and I've put them together. And there is a little bit of shaping on this back and front, just to give it that nice, sort of rounded feel. Yeah. Um, so that's already. But 
box corners are the thing mm. in the pattern it will say box the corners right and not everybody would understand the term box the, the corners, corners. Yeah. So, what you're effectively doing is making an envelope on this corner and it's quite difficult to press these seams open or closed because it's not very big but you're feeling for the seams to be sitting on top of one another I don't know whether yes yeah yeah so you're feeling for that seam to match that seam there mm -hmm. once they're matched stick a pin in to keep them together and then you need to put it flat okay a dressmaker would understand well no, an, uh, an upholsterer would understand what box in the corners meant mm -hmm. but most of us quilters are not upholsterers okay now to get this corner square I'm gonna have to use a pen because a pencil does not show up on the um, wadding and you need to take a point two inches from the point there and measure two inches up now you should get a line of about four inches and if you look carefully you'll see one two three four might be a fraction out but that's not going to matter too much and you can just about see the um, incline on mm -hmm. that piece about there four inches across there. Uh, yeah it's yeah. about four inches okay now you don't need to backstitch on these corners particularly because there's no strain on them mm -hmm. uh, no strain at all And I'm just going to stitch that across there. And it doesn't matter if the seams don't lie flat, you know, it, it really isn't that important with this. And then chop that off because you don't want all that excess in the way and you need to chop it off a quarter of an inch that side of your seam like so so you'll get that bit left over and there you've got a quarter inch seam and the corner is now going to come out nice and square so that when you turn it right side out lovely you've got this square corner uh -huh. And it will stand up quite nice. I mean, this probably won't stand up terribly well because well, I haven't done the other anyway. one. <laughs> but it will stand up quite nicely yeah. by itself. Lovely. Yeah? Yeah. And that's the box corner. Gorgeous. Now, the other thing I wanted to show people with this bag, because the instruction might read like something off another planet, but the handle is pointed, well, triangle at the end. Hmm. So you're pressing over a half inch on both of those long edges and then we'll turn it right side out and then cut a piece of wadding, the, the right length, I think it's 29 and 3 quarters and then that wadding has got to go inside the handle. Right. Now that sounded a bit awkward when you're saying push the wadding inside the handle taking care with the corners. So mm -hmm. I thought I would just try and show that it's not as bad as it sounds. You do need to get that point in and you need to feel for it. And this isn't one that I prepared earlier. That's okay, we've got a um, quarter of an hour anyway. Yeah. And then you're just pushing it inside. Yeah. So that when the top stitching is done afterwards, the, the wadding is encased within the handle. Um, I left the other end free purposely so that if you wanted me to I could show you cutting that and yeah, getting absolutely. The, the point right. Um, getting the point right can be a bit tricky. So again I'm going to put a pin in to hold the edges together like so and I made myself a little cardboard template. Mm -hmm. That is an inch from that line there to there, mm -hmm. 
and that's what we want on this corner. So I'm going to draw a line, this time with a pencil, there, and then there, and just stitch those. And this time I will do a little back stitch on the outer edge, because that's the one that you're going to be pulling and pushing when you come to put your wadding in. So stitch it away like that. And then again, like that. And you need the line really to get your inch measurement fairly accurate. Otherwise you wind up with a triangle that's longer on one side than the other. <laughs> and that's, I mean it wouldn't really matter, I don't suppose, but you know, if you want it to be perfect then you need to trim this, trim this seam quite close, about an eighth of an inch. Um, because you don't want a lot of bulk in this corner because this is the one you're going to be sewing to the bag. So trim it quite close so that you can turn it the right way out and not have a lot of bulk. And I'm just going to very quickly put the iron on that if I may. Of course, yeah. This is the Jessie bag that uh, Susan yeah. is doing, and we've got two colourways. Susan's working on the red, and I just want to show you that the corner, uh, this is what we're working on at the moment with Susan, yeah. there, that lovely point there. Uh, Two-thirds of the red is already gone. I'll show you the in, inner lining, because it's so beautiful. And this is just using the double wadding, so there's no structure yeah. or anything in there at all. No. It's just doubling up the wadding, and obviously with it, you get the instructions, you get the red material and the inner beautiful lining there. And then we've got the blue option as well. Also, and again, full colour instructions. And don't forget, you've got the pick and mix instructions on the website as well, over 20 different designs there, if you just want the designs themselves. But with patterns. these. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Not. Did you not know no, you did no. 20 patterns? No. Oh, they're all there, Susan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she surprised herself there. Uh, 250919. 40% of the blue has gone. Big saving there. £9.86 saving. Yeah. No. I mean, you get two pounds for 12 99 for an extra four pounds, have your pattern anyway, and you can repeat, make that as many times as you want. And you've got the yes. material to make it straight away. Yeah. Can we make to sell this, Susan? If I made myself a few bags, um, I want yes. to sell in the store. Yes. If it's done for sort of um, charitable purposes or you know church fates or yeah. whatever, yes, I don't have any problem with that. Lovely. Thank you. So back to our handle. Yeah, I'm just pushing the wadding in and doing a very bad job of it. I did a much better job earlier on, <laughs> as is usually the case. But it's all gone in nicely. And we'll be ready to to top stitch. Now what I did with the the original, I only top stitched the two long edges. And then I finished the top stitching on the corners when I actually put it on the bag. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it, it wouldn't matter if you top stitch the whole lot round the points and everything. Um you know, I like to have things that are fairly easy to to work with. So it doesn't matter if you carry on, stitch all around the points and everything. Uh, but there we go. That's ready. Okay. Gorgeous. <laughs> there we go. We're coming. Yeah. Do you know, we've still got 10 minutes left. Is there anything else you want to show us there, well, Susan? Well, I'll tell you that what I useful. might do then. I might do this other corner. Yeah, lovely. And then I'll show you how the handle would go on. I won't stitch it though because I need to put the lining in as well. But I do need to make the two corners before I do anything else. Just checking that they're sitting on top of one another, which they are. So. Well after that maybe you explain about the lining then and uh, yeah, yeah that would be brilliant. Can do. Yeah. I can do that. I won't say I can do anything because that's, <laughs> that's a recipe for something to go wrong, isn't it? When you, oh, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> it always goes wrong then. So about four inches across yeah, there. Yeah, four inches. Two inches up should give you a four-inch seam. Gotcha. If it came out at three and a half, it wouldn't Not be the end the of the world. world yeah. Or three and three quarters or four and a quarter. It wouldn't matter that much. The only thing I would say is don't go too big. Because yeah, then you won't the bag have any depth in your sit. bag. Yeah, yeah, it won't sit properly. Yeah. And you want it to sit properly.
because I tested it on a couple of people in oh, the okay. wake. Okay. Yeah. And the handle is 30 inches. Mm -hmm. um, anything less than that, and the bag will crease. Anything oh. more than that, and it'll sag a bit oh, okay. with the weight. But the 30 inch handle is it's just right. Just right. Yeah. Just right. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? The dynamics. <laughs> well, you, you don't know these things till you start doing them. Mm. And to be fair, that one's come out perfect as well. Yeah, you met those two edges yeah. there, seams perfectly. Just make, yeah. make the seams meet. Now then, this handle will sit somewhere about there, and I'll just pin it into place so that you can see. And you're lining the point up with the seam. Like so. Now you could, if you wanted to, not put the flap on. That would be a little over not the shoulder. Put the, not put the what on? Not the flap. You couldn't, you, if you wanted oh, to. Oh, right, yes, like an open bucket bag. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm just going to put that on one side. Nice option, yeah. So there's almost like two patterns in one there. Yeah, because I did want to show you something about the lining if you've got time. The lining template is actually smaller than the face template. And it's deliberately done like that, so that when you turn it the right way out, the the outside edges roll in, okay. so that your lining is actually underneath rather than right on the very edge. Oh. If you look carefully, you'll see your lining isn't right on the very no, edge. It's yes. actually rolled in a little bit. Yes, so that we don't see it when yes. it's closed. Yeah. Now you'd you'd be forgiven for thinking, I'm never going to get this in. But it will go in. You don't have to fight it too much <laughs> at all. It will go in quite well. And I started like that and then just pulled it so that the bottom fitted and pulled it a little bit okay. so that the sides would fit. And it does make a huge difference to the finish of it. So just pull it to the edge there. Yeah, yeah. Just e well, you're easing it really. Yeah. If yeah. you remember when we, when we were all dressmakers, you had to ease in sleeves <laughs> so that you didn't get um, pleats and too many wrinkles and tucks and what have you. And this is really the same principle. You're just easing that in. And I don't know where the camera can pick this up, but there's no... It, it goes in nicely, it mm. doesn't want to wrinkle up, it just fits yeah. in perfectly well. Um, and then when it's all sewn and turned out, and you press it all down, you think, oh, that's, that's pretty good, that is, I haven't got anything showing on the wrong side. <laughs> Which sometimes you do have with bags. Um, you know, when you put the lining in and yeah. turn it the other way, you, you do get a bit of like something out through, yeah, yeah. poking out the side. Mm. Um, well, that will ensure that you've got nothing poking out the side of your flap that yeah. shouldn't be on the outside of your flap. Ah, so we've got five minutes, so... Right, well, I'm going to put the lining in then, if we've got five minutes. Just shows you how quick this bag does come together, oh, it doesn't does. it? it does. The, the, the preparation work of getting the quilting done takes... I don't know, a couple of hours. Yeah. But once you've done that, then it will all go together really, really quickly. Now, I'm not going to change threads for this, but envelope corners again on the lining to match the, the, bag, uh, yeah. the bag. Now, what I did with the lining, actually, I did clip the corners off. Now, you don't need to, but I found it gave me a much better line for nesting the seams hmm. um, because you can actually see where the two seam, seams line up. One goes left, one goes right. Yeah. Uh, if I hadn't clipped the corner off, I wouldn't have necessarily been able to see that. Yeah. And that was one I'd drawn on earlier. Hmm. Um, and I'll do the same with this one. One to the left, one to the right, make them nest. 
And if you just want the patterns themselves, we've got pick and mix on the website. Uh, Susan was surprised by her own um, amount of patterns that she's I got on the website. There was that many. <laughs> so if you just want the Jessie bag, it's a pick and mix. There's 20 on there. So you've got all the designs that we've got on the show today, the table mats, the lovely cushions, um, the lovely, uh, beautiful, the carpenters. Uh, What's it called? Star. Star throw, yeah. Uh, there's, there's bags on there. The patch lap quilts, your table runners, pattern uh, bags. That's the one we've got there. The bucket bags there, mini bucket okay. bag. So there's lots on there. Lovely dress and wall hanging. So you pick any two uh, for twelve ninety nine. Come on. Now I did do a little back stitch on the lining um, corners just because that's where you've got your hands in there all the time and you're fiddling about and pulling this and pulling that and I thought well a little back stitch will help to keep that together because the worst thing of all you throw a, a little something in your handbag you've got a hole in the lining and the next thing you know it's disappeared into oblivion that will do okay quarter inch again so that there's not too much excess in the corners right now you need this one inside out mm -hmm. and then that one because again the lining is cut slightly smaller than the bag outer yeah. so that it sits in perfectly yeah perfectly well so you need the the bag right side in and the lining right side out and you'll notice there's a hole in the bottom turn which we're going to need to turn it through yeah we're down to the last minute and a half okay um, when are you with us again susan in case i forget um, to ask um probably not until next year oh that's susan. assuming i can get back to france yes of course <laughs> you've been over here quarantining yeah, I yourself could be stuck you? here for six weeks now because uh, mr macron in his wisdom has locked france down for the next yes well so. until the first of december at the minimum yeah and i may not be able to get oh, back so susan, we'll that's see. heartbreaking you've self-quarantined yourself yeah and, uh, and i've done yeah i've done all the hard yeah, yards of the quarantine. <laughs> but again, i'm not going to have time to pin this in and stitch it but you can see then it's it lovely. fits in nicely without Does. any hassle at all. Fantastic, Susan. Thank, thank you, you so no, much. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's been lovely to have you. And don't forget all the other lovely uh, designs that are new today that Susan's got on the show. The Carpenter's Star, uh, the lovely jewel box quilt as well. These beautiful cushions as well. Uh, the fat quarters. We've got the table runner and the table mats. Um, yeah, fantastic. So just look under uh, the Thai veg. Uh, five egg. Five uh, egg. Thank you, Susan. Won't forget that five egg. Thank house. you. <laughs> <laughs> See you all um, again soon. We do. We look forward to it in, in the new year. Yeah. Uh, don't want you to go anywhere. But don't forget to check out your baskets. There's still plenty more to see with our one day special and the lovely John Lockwood and Hayley West. Thank you. Indeed, we're going to revisit the John Next Door one day special if there's anything left. And then we've got Welcome to the Weekend and then again our one day special. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft with mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. I think for me, crafting is so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. I'm really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Touch On. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. 
whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Mill Shop Online shows on Hotanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. My goodness, you guys out there have caused quite a stir. We were here at six o'clock launching a brand new one day special. We sold out within 20 minutes. That wasn't the plan. No. We thought that it was sell out, but we didn't expect it to happen until tomorrow. Um, so we had kind of got a bit of a, a kind of a plan in place just in case, but we had to bring that plan forward somewhat. So we have still got the one day special, but we have got it on extended delivery now, which means the 6th of November, this will be on its way to you. Now, of course, as soon as we launched this, we went very busy again with this because, of course, you saw a second opportunity to get hold of this amazing deal. But just to let you know, with regards to that, rapidly approaching 20% of the stock has gone. Now there's loads that we're bringing to you during this hour. We didn't have a chance to cover everything at six o'clock so the website is the way to go. So if you are placing an order, perhaps you're going for the one day special, perhaps you're going for those different elements, then no, oh incidentally there's a bit of news on these as well. We have had a conversation with Emma Crafts 2 headquarters um, and we have got these on extended delivery now. So these are your one day special as a combination but of course you can get hold of them individually, as I say individually, in a set of those trios that you can see there. And again Again, that is the 6th of November with regards to um, extended delivery. I should probably point out on this one, as I was saying earlier, yeah. we've had to make calls to France to get yeah. this. 
So this stock, the reason it's it's just a week, right. is it's on a plane. Oh, okay, fair enough. At this precise moment, it has <laughs> been driven by Fred, I believe, <laughs> more than likely, to the airport. Um, so because all of the stock we had, we've put on here. Okay. So you are the only place, I believe, that has oh, wow. stock of this oh, at the goodness. moment. Oh, my goodness, okay. And then the rest of all of the stock is literally flying its way into here from France. Wonderful. So this will be the quickest way to get it. Okay. I have to say that, to be honest. Now, um, we're three minutes and it's busy again. Um, you might not have seen these at launch. So you can see here, we've got 12 beautiful bottles of colour, spray bottles of colour. And these are going to add such an incredible layer of interest to anything that you are crafting with. Now, I've got a board to show you those colours. And this is just literally scratching the surface with these. And this is kind of showing you that combination of light cardstock and dark cardstock, because these will react with both and I have to say John I love the colours you've chosen. The colours are beautiful this is the whole 12 set okay and so of the shiny pastels this is it this is the 12. This is one of the things I love about Isink. These are the 12 that's it. Okay. There might be other products coming out in these 12 colours but they're oh, not going to okay. be adding up I'm not going to be coming back to you in three months time and going here's the next six Right. Here's the next. Yes. That's not how they yeah. work. Okay, yeah, They've gone you. through the whole pastel shade and they are beautiful, intense colours that you don't get in sprays, that you yeah. don't even get in inks. You don't, yeah. The closest I found to this, Jane actually reminded me of some inks that she had from years ago, some acrylic pearl inks. Okay, yeah. In little glass bottles. You'll probably, I remembered them yes, when she showed yeah, me. Yes, I know what you mean. And now, you used yes. to use them for parchment. Yes. Well, these will work exactly the same way for parchment, but they're like a third of the price. Wow. But the colours, I mean, that is, Maxine's done that. She's done amazingly. She sprayed the background. She was then able to go over the top with a normal dye-based ink mm -hmm. because it doesn't move the spray. Wow, okay. And then she's given it a spritz over the top just to add a little bit more glitz see to that, it. see that kind of little tiny shimmer going in there with those little elements there. Love it. Um, and of course, because you've got all those different colours, you're covered for all eventualities with these. You, you cover everything. You've, you've got... They aren't in your face yeah. but they are if that makes sense yes. the intensity of the color is bright but none of them are sort of like oh i don't like that even the orange Nothing which is traditionally a color yeah. i don't like yeah. isn't horrible I but love the fact this. that and that this is this i thought was amazing this is another one of maxine's she's done the background with the sprays okay yeah then she's gone over the top with clear texture paste through a stencil that. okay but if you look can you see none of that color has moved into no. that texture paste none at all they are fixed it, it's so different than anything I've used before and it's amazing because you just use soapy water to wash your stencils to use your different elements but it doesn't move when you no, use a water-based element on it y it doesn't move this again was made all with white card everything on that every bit of shine is the color from the bottles now, rapidly approaching a quarter of the restocked stock has gone. You are loving this. It's absolutely incredible because we were learning how you can use it in so many different ways. Use it on your different styles of cardstock. Use it on your pearlescent cardstock as well as your most economical cardstock we were chatting about earlier on. Yeah, I mean, I, I use, I love the way you say it. I've used some really cheap cardstock for this, <laughs> to be Not honest. To use the cheap we, we've, we've all bought those bumper <laughs> packs thinking it's a bargain and got it home <clears> and gone, well, this won't cut or hold anything. The sprays work on it, they'll work on anything, they'll work on that pearlized card. This, now rice I actually paper. got this wrong earlier, that is actually not even rice paper. Okay. Sam informed me that is the c contact sheet between two pieces of acetate. <laughs> Oh. That's actually even thinner oh than rice goodness. paper. Not, meant, so, not meant to use it for anything, no, really. No, you're not. But you wow. can see it's not warped because they dry. This is the great thing about the bottles. And this is where I think Aladine, Aladine is the company that owns and runs Ising. Okay. This is where they get things right. Mm -hmm. These are in development for over a year. I mean, I've had a set at home for over four months now. Okay. And I was aware of them in January, mm -hmm. of them starting. But what they've done is it's a non-clog bottle for a start. Right. So what they've done is this will not clog. I keep bringing in my yellow. Let me see if I can get you another colour. Obviously, I've loved my yellow, but I will bring that one in. That means that if you've ever had sprays before, how many of you got at home that still spray? And I will show this because I feel that it's really not fair to. So... How many bottles have you got at home where you've used that much of the product, mm -hmm. yeah, but still sprays first time? Yeah. Like that. Yeah. And watch, that's not dripping. No. Because that's quick drying. 
Okay. So that bit is dry. So no heat gun? No heat gun, no messing about. No leaving it overnight? No, none of that. No leaving but, it underneath the mat to flatten out? No, none at all. Look, nothing on the back. And this is 300 GSM stamping card. Nothing on the back, nothing on the front. Yeah, <laughs> but, so you've got this non-clog bottle lid. So how does it work then? Because you've got that intensity of colour, so I'm guessing that you've got a lot of kind of content within there. You have got an awful lot of content in there. You have got basically mica and pigment in a suspension. Now these bottles have sat flat. Okay. And I said this and showed it earlier, so I'm going to grab one of mine. Yeah. Now these haven't moved since two o'clock. So I'm going to grab the orange. Right. So this hasn't moved since two o'clock today. So normally at this point we'd be kind of shaking yeah. and swirling. But can you see the mica is all the way through? Wow. Yeah. That is half, and that's half empty, I should Well, you can point see out. as you move it there, you can yeah. see the, the top of the liquid You can see there. the top of the liquid. So, nothing wrong with this. Okay. These are great products, but this is what I'm used to. This is one from home. Okay. Yeah, so there's my mica sat in the bottom. Yeah. Which we're all familiar with that, because yeah. you see it, it kind of settles. Yeah, you can, and there's my little glass bead to make it mix, yeah? Yeah. And I have to swirl this okay. to mix it, yeah? Yep. It's a different product. We're not comparing them. I want to show you the difference and why these are new. Okay. So this has been sat there, and that, wow, I mean, look at that, it's that beautiful. Looks beautiful, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like a lava lamp, but that will settle out. Yeah. This has been sat here now, what are we on, eight o'clock, so what's that, six hours? Yeah, and it's That's still That's not as separated. It was. Yeah. Plus, because of non clog, because of the quality, I don't have to, if I want to, and shake it any it old shake. day. Give it a sh any, anything. Don't have know, to be precious. Don't have to be precious and watch straight away you can spray that on top now a quarter of the stock has gone um this is the restock stock so we are looking at the 6th of november which is next friday it's only a week um, extended but you will still get all of those all of those 12 colors that you can see there if you are choosing to go for the complete bundle now we have mentioned that we have got the four separate sets they are on different item numbers so the thing that you need to be aware of is you if you are um, ordering things that are on different item numbers then you will have additional post and packing to pay so you'll have your first bundle that you'll be paying your person and packing, then an additional pound, I think it is, on top of each of those, unless you're a Freedom member. But if you're going for two of those sets, you can see at the bottom of your screen there, £17.49, and you're looking at around £35.50, and p. I think, with my mental maths, to go for two sets of those. Well, your first flexi buy on your um, one-day special is £34.98, and pence. so you will get two of those. Um, oh, no, it's not. It's £29.98. pence. do apologise. Um, so, uh, yeah, with that... Oh, sorry, the other put was for the two individuals. Sorry, I do apologise. So, if you're going for the um, one-day special, your first payment of £29.98 pence is already probably about £6 less than you were planning on paying in the first place. But you'll get all of them. Because I pretty much guarantee that when you get the first six home, if that's the way you are going to shop, you will be making a note of that item number and wanting to come back for the other set. And to be honest, how do you choose six out of these fabulous colours because I wouldn't want to be that person. Well, no, I, I, I really, really wouldn't because I know for a fact if, I, if someone had given me the list of the colours, mm -hmm. I would have said, oh, well, I don't need the yellow and the orange. Yes. Right? Yeah. But the one I've used the most is the yellow. Isn't it funny? That's yeah. the lowest. I would have gone, oh, I need the blues, but yes. then I need those greeny shades as well. Yeah. I need the mauves. So, you know, I'm in a very lucky position that I got all of them. Yes, yeah. Um... So I am very, very lucky, but I would want to buy all of them regardless. But just the fact that I can do something like this, which Get nobody would ever expect those being me. Get and crannies. Yeah. It was actually easier with the sprays than it was with you, was the painting it with gesso. That took yeah. the longer time. Well, I think that's the thing, because you can't necessarily get into all those areas. Now, I've got loads of swatches very quickly going through some of these. So you will see, you've got watercolour cardstock. You've got your regular cardstock, cardstock that you might not really know the origin of, so you don't know what you can use it for. But you're creating a fabulous base um, with regards to these. Those gorgeous oranges and yellows, again, looking so fabulous alongside those pinks. Mopping out some of those colours as well, using it on your cotton 
paper, so many different ways. It really is a versatile way for you to craft and it is flying out yet again. Rapidly approaching 30% of the restock stock has gone. Don't forget we weren't expecting to have to put this into our system until tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, probably for the 8 o'clock show. I wasn't so expecting to have to put it in at all. Well, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, no, I, don't, I had a little bit more confidence, I must admit, <laughs> but I didn't think it'd be for another 12 hours before that we'd be thinking about it. But there you go. That's how it goes with a one-day special. So, of course, with, that is the main item of the hour. We will be revisiting that in a few moments and seeing it in action, but we've got lots more to share with you. So we've got your eyes inks ice. Now these are fabulous because you've got these gorgeous metallic paints that you've got a set of four with regards to these. So you're getting your gold, your silver, your Christmas red and your Christmas green as well. These are beautiful. Tell me about these, John. These are amazing. Um, eyes ink and again, Aladine have got exclusive rights now worldwide. It was Europe wide oh, okay. to the binder that's in here and it's in the diamonds as well in a lot of their products. It's actually made in it made in Germany and it where it says on there it says tout support. Oh yes, yeah. It actually means in French all surfaces. Oh right. So this okay. is permanent on every surface. So paper, card, concrete, glass, wood, wow. plastic, acetate, fabric, clothes, um, the floor. It's permanent <laughs> on everything. Once it's set and dried, so you can machine wash it, mm -hmm. you can canvas it. It's just an amazing product, and it's like having liquid enamel in a bottle. I love it because it's got that translucency about it. So it's not a heavy colour. You can see if you put it on top of something that's patterned, I'm guessing you'll still see that pattern coming you through. You will, yeah, because it's not opaque. It's like having a glaze. Beautiful. It's just amazing. I mean, that is literally made with one piece with a ruler. I will promise I will show you how to do that love that tomorrow. Aspect. I love it on the, the die cut elements that you've got down at the bottom there as well. Um, the canvas as well, again, using that with that kind of faux pour look that you Yeah, did. that's faux acrylic, faux acrylic pouring because the chemical inside the ice will work like a pouring medium okay. so you literally mix it with the ice water and the craft artist PVA glue perfect and then you just pour wonderful set of four there um, 18 mil which is a really good size because when you consider the size of a pot of paint that you'd normally be paying for you wouldn't be getting that sort of quantity for that price for certain so one five seven five five nine if you want to know now the eyes ink Christmas gift this uh, set this is to do with the glitters and these are incredible now if you're wanting to get hold of these again you've got your Christmas colors your red and your green are the new colors with these ones aren't they there is the red and the green are both new colors they're not the colors that we did originally um, so you've actually got more of a, um, you've got an interference in those to give you that yeah, little like bit those. more. The gold, the silver and the white are original colours, but okay. those are colours that you are going to use. And if you're going to run out of any of them, I would run out of white because I use the white all year round. Okay, yeah, good point. Love it. Now, of course, with regards to these, um, it's the effects that you're going to get. And, of course, your black card's got quite a dramatic look when you're using those. That's very effective. That's actually using the diamonds. Sorry, that one's in the wrong pile. Oh, is it? Oh, I will sorry. show you that tomorrow. That's paper oh, grouting. Oh, that's, that's actually come across those ones yep. as well, aren't they? Have I picked up the wrong pile yep, here? No, yeah, no, you find after the... Um, there you go. Those are. That's those okay. Glitters. I'm sorry. That's and my And, again, I will, I've got a demo prep for this. That is so easy to use. That's using the tartan stencil and double-sided adhesive. Like that. I've got that tartan stencil as well. Another way for you to actually use that tartan stencil, there you go. Building up that tartan pattern. And all that's come from the other part that we were just looking at a few moments ago, so I'm going to pop that back. I know why that black cardstock came across, because I wanted to show you. If you've invested in the glitters, something that you really do need to treat yourself to is these fabulous bottles, because these are going to be the way for you to kind of decant that glitter in a very economical way. And I think these are absolutely, they've blown my mind, they really have. You've got 12 of these coming to you potentially with um, oh, six I do apologize the details at the bottom of your screen for these what you've got you've got a little nozzle to the side there which you can kind of position wherever you want it to go but have a look at this so I've got a piece of black cardstock here we've got silver glitter and it is almost like you're shooting that party cannon look at that doesn't that show incredibly where that glitter is coming? But that is fabulous because you're getting that subtle look with this and you're not overusing the you're glitter. Not. And this is dry glitter so Look. these are actually, this is dry glitter or dry powder, so you can use these with your mica, with your embossing powders, anything that's fine but quite dense. I love it. 
yeah, will work amazingly. But I know what I'm thinking a lot of people have said to me for Christmas. Yes. You spray that all over your hair and then hairspray, and it f oh the hairspray will fix it in. When you wash your hair, it'll just wash out. We'll try that when the show's finished, John. Yes. Well, I did coat Adam in it when we first I launched did. them. <laughs> I love it. Um, so, yeah, if you're wanting those, do get those into your basket as well. So the spray bottles, the details are there, £22.94, pence, but a quarter of the stock has gone with those. I'll just pop that little arm back down there as well. Now, um, gave you a little bit of a sneaky peek with these ones. These are your Ising 24 Carat, and they are amazing. So tell me about these, John. So what you've got here, again, with the same base... So they've got the same base in them, so these are permanent on the list of everything. Okay. It's easier to say. We haven't found anything yet that they're not on. Okay. The difference between these and the normal um, diamonds, if you can see there, you see you've got like Aurora Borealis in that yes, silver one, yeah. same with the gold. These have got interference in them.